everybody, um, today I'm going to be doing my AS level results and experience video. I was putting off doing this video, I decided to do it because it got, did get requested in my last video, I asked, only, asked if anyone wanted to see it, so some people said they did and um, I just hope this helps people that are maybe feeling a bit weary or uncertain regarding college and sixth form and what they're going to get in their results and maybe a bit worried, um, that's normal and A levels are very difficult and I wanted to talk about my experience with them and um, my results and stuff. Um, a bit late with this video, um, I got my results on the 14th of August and today is the 18th of September so yeah. Happy birthday to you and Sarah. <laughs> A bit frightening for this video is okay. The um, my tripod's a bit temperamental and it's a bit confusing and trying to get the right height when I'm sat down on the floor. So yes, so I want to make it clear. I did five AS levels. Usually you do either three or four. I chose to do a fifth extracurricular AS level after school in creative writing. I had that subject twice a week and I worked a lot um, over the course of AS year. I worked my ass off. I went every revision session I could. I did an extra AS level. Um, um, I bought all the revision books, I did so many notes, I cannot express to you how much I worked for AS results and my exams and coursework. I just worked so, so hard. A bit of a perfectionist with school anyway, like I always try and aim for the highest grade I can and yes. I also want to say, um, if you're not yet in sixth formal college, I suggest you apply for subjects you're going to enjoy. Enjoyment with A-levels, although obviously they are academic and you need to take subjects that, you know, to enjoy them at the same time you need to you know be kind of good at them I guess you know have enjoyment and like be passionate about the subject you're taking is one thing I'd recommend so yes um for my AS levels I took English literature English language history media studies and creative writing so yes um I took quite essay based subjects so AS year for me was very very difficult doing five subjects alone was really hard but all of them being a um based was just very very difficult. The thing I'm going to talk about is English language. Language, it was a real step up from GCSE. Um, I do AQA for my exam board. I'll list some information here. Um, so for English language I did AQA. Um, first half was categorising texts. You get given um, seven texts and you have to group them by their similarities and their like contextual differences and stuff like that. Um, so they're all unseen texts in the exam and it's very, it's, it is quite difficult um, to hit all the AOs, the assessment objectives and stuff. Part B um, is the harder part I would say of the exam. Again it's one unseen text. You pick from doing language and gender, language and power and language and technology. Um, my my sixth form prep prepared us for doing either language and power or language and gender. Um, I had it in my head that I was going to do language and gender because I felt a lot more comfortable in doing that. I revised really hard for language and gender. I preferred it. I found it very interesting. It was kind of like sociology. Um, I've never done sociology really. I think I did it for general studies once with a class on it or something. Um, I really enjoy that kind of thing, you know, societal debates and stuff and the influence of gender on language. Try and stop rambling about what all the A-levels involve. Coursework. Um, um, did two pieces um, imitating an author or whatever or a style of what style of language and writing so I did one piece on a har the style of Harvey Milk doing a gay rights speech but for 2013 instead of it being 1970s and uh, 78 I want to say and my second piece was um, in the style of Agatha Christie and it was a opening chapter to a crime novel so I then had to write a commentary on both pieces. It was very, very time consuming and it was very stressful. I worked so, so hard. So my results for AS English Language, I got an A in my coursework for both pieces. I think I got, it would have been an A star. If it was an A2, it would have been an A star, um, which I was thrilled with because I did work really hard. Um, the exam, um, I didn't think it went that, ra that that well. I didn't think it went that well. Um, a lot of people said it was really, really difficult. It was a lot harder than all the practice papers and mocks we'd done. Oh yeah, by the way, um, for sixth form, we did a lot of practice papers, a lot of mock exams and stuff. So I got an A in the exam as well, which is insane. I don't know how I did that because I did find it was really hard and um, I don't think I completely finished it. I think I could have written more on part B, but I did revise nonstop. The amount of notes I did for that exam was ridiculous. So um, yeah, overall I got an A for AS English language. Also um, the highest grade you can get at A AS is an A star. A no. An A. At A2 you can get an A star. The highest you get grade you can get at AS is only an A, which is different from GCSE. You can't get A stars at AS, so you can get an A star this year, which is what I'm doing now at A2. I'm getting really mumbled, mumbled, mumbled here. 
Um, the next subject I'm going to talk about is English Literature. I'm also an AQA for English Literature. English Literature is probably my favourite subject. I'm doing it at university alongside creative writing. English Literature is a very difficult A-level. It's really, really, really hard. It's a lot more difficult than GCSE. It's very complicated. You look a lot more into interpretations, a lot to do with context. The exam is definitely the most difficult part of that AS level for me. In the exam I got a B. Um, we did the author identity in modern literature paper. First half is an unseen text, second half is Caroline Duffy. Um, I got a B in that exam which was really surprising because I didn't even finish the exam. Um, I wrote a lot for part A, I didn't even get halfway through the Caroline Duffy bit and I still got a B and I got a high A in the coursework so it came out as an A overall. Go for English literature, I got an A in English literature for AS so yes. Media studies were on WJEC. J JEC, which is a Welsh exam board, which is really strange. I'm not too sure why we do WJEC because it's Welsh and it's a bit weird. I know AQA do media studies, but I do really like the WJEC. That's a really hard thing to say. Of course, I really enjoy media. It's probably, well, obviously, I'm taking it for A2, so um, it is in my top three favourite subjects. <laughs> I did it at um, GCSE as well. I got an A star at GCSE. So, yes, yeah, so I'm getting a bit, this is a lot to talk about here. I'm getting really like, ugh. So, for media, we it was a lot of revision. Media, it's so much to remember. People say it's an easy subject. It's not easy at all. It is really hard. The exam, you have a lot to remember, a lot to prepare for. It's so different from GCSE. Um, it's all like, as like you get given like an unseen text. It can be any form of media. Um, for the coursework, we did magazines and we did an essay as well. For the coursework, I got quite a high A. And for the exam, I also got an A, which is, amazing because I revise so hard um so yes media is a really enjoyable subject it works really well with English as well like they kind of overlap quite well so it's really good um so yes I got an A for media studies AS as well for history I I really enjoy history um I no longer do history for A2 because I dropped it history the I found both exams very very difficult um I wasn't expecting to do very well in history um I I revised and it kind of it it was really annoying because I worked so so hard and I knew the exam didn't go very well um it was a bit like up and down all year with history one minute I was doing really well with my essays next minute it went a bit downhill um history is such a hard a level so any of you that are doing it a2 who have done it as an a level um I really respect you because it is so so hard C and AS history which um by the way a pass at a level is an E so I was still really proud of that I thought I was going to get like a D or an E um but I got a C I got C's in both exams we did Saturn and civil rights and the changing role of women and for those of you who watch my other videos, you'll know that I revised really, really hard for history. I bought all the revision guides. Civilization was when Stalin turned all of his farms across the whole of Russia into collective farming, and it was mostly down to the grain procurement crisis of 1924. I think that is right. And it just seemed like a little bit of a waste of time looking back. I wish I hadn't taken history because I really enjoy history. I loved it at GCSE. It's still one of my favourite subjects, but I prefer learning about it outside of school because I find, in terms of education, it's a really hard a level to do. Just enjoy watching documentaries on it and just learning about it outside of school. Um, so yeah, so the final AS level I did was creative writing. Um, I love creative writing. It's my favourite thing in the world <laughs> alongside English literature. I'm doing them together at university. Um, it is a new a, a, a level that was offered this year, this past year. Um, it's on the exam board AQA and um, yeah, the coursework was Bearing in mind I only did it twice a week after school, I am still proud of my grade that I got. Um, I was a little bit disappointed at the time, I now no longer do it because I want to focus on the three. Doing four A2s is a lot of work, I didn't want to risk anything. I got a C in AS Creative Writing, um, which is a, a little bit like kind of disappointing because I worked so hard, but equally as one of my teachers said, I only did that twice a week and for an A-level usually you do it every single day. So for AS Creative Writing, getting a C, I'm still proud of. I um, originally got an A in the coursework, it went down to a B when it was sent off to the exam board and I got a D in the exam. The exam was hard, the exam was non-fiction and I am better at fiction writing, you know, like like fantasy, like not, not realistic writing, fictional writing is my passion. So yeah, 
Um, creative writing is really enjoyable and you're doing it at university anyway and for the entry requirements you don't need A level creative writing to do it so having it at NAS is an advantage anyway. For all I hope you enjoyed my quick rambly video, I hope it was informative and helpful to you all. I will answer any questions down below. Um, I love <laughs> education and learning. Um, this year I'm doing A2 English Language, A2 English Literature and A2 Media Studies and I have just finished my UCAS form so I'm applying to university and I'm so happy I got three A's. Still overwhelmed, still don't know how I did it but I worked so hard and I was really really thrilled. I cried on results day. Um, I will insert a clip at some point of me um, on results day. Hi guys, I thought I'd just vlog for a second. I got an A in English Language, an A in English Literature, um, a C in Creative Writing, an A in Media, and a C in History. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If any of you just started college or sixth form, good luck. A levels are hard, but you will get used to them. It is very difficult from GCSE, very, very different, and more difficult from GCSE. That didn't make sense, but you know what I mean. <laughs> um, it's marked completely differently. Originally, I was getting D's and E's um, when I first started in September, but you get used to it. It's a real different way of writing and different way of working, but it's a lot of work, but it, the results, once you've worked so hard, are so worth it. So good luck to you all. Wish me luck on my A2s, and um, yeah, I'm so drained. For a second, I thought I hadn't recorded because I went to go watch the videos back, and I was like, oh my god, it hasn't recorded, but it did. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Goodbye. Thank you.